student play the flute? Here's a few tips that can help you teach them from home. I'm Mr. CJ. Today, I'm gonna to show you a few tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your student while they can't see their teacher at school. Right at the front of our book, we have the basics. So if you're struggling to help your student, I suggest having a read of this for yourself and you'll see just how easy it is to put the instrument together and how to make a sound. It also helps students with reading the notes. If we turn the page, it's very easy to see exactly how it's done. These books are great and they're very self-explanatory. So if you can sit down with your student and help them, they'll start learning much faster. In the very back part of our book, we have the Rubank scale and arpeggio studies. So all of your students should be starting these scales if they haven't already finished most of them. So we have four exercises for each different key. Now, there's only four scales on this page, but there are more if we turn over the page. And of course, there are more in book two. I suggest that you start your, your practice session with one of these exercises before getting into your song exercises. This is not only a great warm up, but it's a great way to learn our scales and to get them underneath our fingers tightly. If your student is learning how to play the flute, then you're one of the lucky ones, because the flute is one of our most quietest instruments to learn from home. However, it's also one of the trickiest. So I'm gonna show you how to make the correct shape with your mouth to play the flute so that you can help your student at home learn how to do it too. Playing the flute is a lot of fun, but getting this right can be really difficult. The biggest problem I see with students on a day-to-day -day basis is that they do this. And they let their top lip go over the, the sound hole. So really, we want nice flat lips. So I always get my students to say, mmm, and then, mmm, and smile. Because all of our kids deserve to smile when they're playing an instrument. So, let's keep it like this. Smile. And I'm only gonna let the air come out from the middle of my mouth. If the hole in my mouth is too wide, then we don't get a sound at all. Now, I'm also directing about half of my air into the hole. So you can see, half of my air is going straight into the hole. The other half is coming over the top here. So we're splitting our airstream in half. If your student is struggling to play some of our higher notes like F and E flat, have them think about blowing up and actually aim their air. Low notes, we're going to aim our air down. High notes, we're going to aim our air up. Now, yes, the eyebrows are very important. If you can get your child to exercise their eyebrows so that when they play high notes, they shoot straight up, they'll get it every time. Good luck, have fun.